So, I can be the first to say that my Sona design is not unique. In no way, shape, or form have I invented the thought of a green and white cat character. I mean, with a quick Google search, I can clearly see other characters that fit the description, and are honestly much better than my own design. With that said, you all know very rarely will a design be truly unique. The infamous Sparkle Dog Cerberus suit by Elkcraft is the best example of originality in a character design here in the furry fandom. And I mean this in the nicest way possible to all my viewers with a Sona. Your character isn't really anything special design-wise. Hello, my lovely kittens. It's Perry. And today, I'm going to be talking about something that came to my attention on Facebook, of all places. And it's, in my opinion, the most stupid argument in our fandom. And that's ownership of a common design. The art behind me is of my design, a fennec fox named Kai. And yes, femboy, who else is surprised? If you guys like these videos, then a click on the like button would be appreciated. Each like lets me know you guys love my content, even with subpar editing software. And if you love seeing my little cat face, then maybe subscribe! And don't forget to hit the bell to be notified when I release my monthly videos. Now, back to this video's topic. I feel the need to say this firsthand right out the gate that I am in no way asking anyone to harass, target, or bully this creator, or anyone involved. They even already made an apology video for their actions, but I still feel the need to talk about this. The person they were targeting, however, did not find it a very sincere apology, and gave me the okay to talk about their story. The targeted individual asked me to keep their identity hidden for privacy, and I intend to do so. For the sake of this video, I'm going to be naming this individual Luca. The creator, however, I will give their name. Icy Fox and their partner, Shadow. Note that I know no one's gender identity, and I never had a lengthy conversation with them, and will refer to all parties as they, them. This whole situation Luca has gotten into was to put it simply a nothing issue. For they say they knew Icy and Shadow for over four years at this point, and never had this be a problem before until the beginning of this year. Let's take a look at the problem. Here we have Luca's character, Toxic. Now, I say this in the most caring way I can, but this design is very generic. And this is coming from me. I know generic when I see it. Look at me. Now, let's look at Shadow's character. Similar, sure, but the exact same isn't the proper term. Now, before I go on, I know I might get some misconceptions in the comments about Icy's markings. I need to make it clear to new furs, or simply misinformed furs, that this symbol, called the Phi-Paw, is not the symbol for zoos. The Phi Paw is just for furries. It's a furry symbol and a safe symbol to use. This is the symbol for zoos, which is called the Zeta. Now that we had our furry 101 course over, let's analyze the similarities between Toxic and Shadow. Note that I can only see but so much as this is the only art I have of Shadow so I cannot see their eye or tongue color. But let's just assume they are the same as Toxics for the sake of argument. Yes, a gray base with blue paws, ear tips, and tail tip. As well as pink nose and inner ears. Okay, I will give them that. But let's not forget the traits only Toxic has. Like the white stripe on their tail, and the fact that the blue on their front paws do not go all the way up the arm like Shadow's does. 
Not to mention that the palette on Toxic is lighter, where Shadow's palette is darker. Both Luca and Shadow, y'all have a very common color palette and pattern. I'm sorry to say it. Like, this here is a soft roast, but these designs I found with a quick Google search are more creative than the ones y'all have. And I mean that in the nicest way possible. My point in saying that is to simply drill it into Icy and Shadow's head, that Shadow's design being as simple as it is, why is it so surprising to you that someone else has one similar? It also seems a little fishy you guys decided to bring this up after four years of knowing Luca. What did they do to irritate you so much you felt the need to bash them all over your media? To then have your friends also harass them. I talked to Luca once, and that was to get their permission for this video and to ask for more conversations y'all had with each other. And Icy? Bragging about 1,000 subs? Yet I looked on your channel where you talked about Luca and you only have 17. Why threaten them with your larger account yet post on your smaller one? I searched all over this one channel and you don't even have your so-called larger channel linked on the channel page. Only one post on the community tab and not talking about Luca or related to them. And just posting shorts. So please explain to me how this is to scare anyone. Hell, even just 1,000 versus the amount of subs someone else can have is very minuscule. And that's coming from someone who believes her 300 subs is a big number. Scare tactics to stop someone from drawing what they love to draw isn't very cool of you. You literally threatened them and I quote, Do you really want me to share this with the whole world? As if the whole world cares what you have to say. All over a simple character design. And you also said no one would believe Luca? Well, I do. I believe Luca when they say they came up with Toxic, way before they knew Shadow. Coincidences happen, especially if it's of a simple design more bland than my morning toast. Now, I'm bashing this hard because Luca admitted that their design is rather simple. I sure do hope Shadow knows this too. My point for this video is to explain how stupid this argument is. And not just this argument, but this issue in general. I hate to tell you butthurt artists, but stealing and similarities are not the same thing. A great example is from the Runes Furry Blogs, an entry written in 2019 by Ali where her intricate duchy character was being used as a profile picture on TikTok. Now as a child, I did this sort of thing too. I even used these found character designs and used them in RPs. But now, I know how bad that situation can be for the original character holder. But taking a photo off Google and claiming it as yours is indeed character theft. Simply having coincidental character designs look the same is not character theft. I'm sorry if this was a short one. I'm just not sure what else to say regarding this situation. So here I'll give a shout out to my dear friend Sage otherwise known as When Bones Cross on Toy House. They are one of my many reasons why I get inspiration to make these videos for you guys. Their work is also great based on the chosen style. To give them a proper thank you for helping me keep up with releasing videos, why not give them a comp? They are slow to push out, but I promise the work is worth the wait. I think I gave them nearly $400 by now. <laughs> Or, if you enjoy my work, my comms are also open. Just a simple email and I'll be with you. Anyway, you all know the drill. I hope all my kittens wake up every morning with fruit juice and sugar. And please, don't be petty when someone has a similar design as you. Creativity is not limited to one soul.